You know, I tuned into this video. First of all, I just got done watching Missouri smash uh, Arkansas in the Cotton Bowl. But uh, I tuned in this video because it says Coach Mark Mangino, the coach of Kansas, KU. I think he's coach of the year this year, which he should be. Um, it says Coach Mark Mangino explodes. Now, if you have never seen Coach Mark Mangino, I mean, seriously, when we were, I was back home watching the Kansas-Missouri game on a huge screen TV in a bar with, uh, it was my 30th high school class reunion, and, um, I mean, you just look at Mark Mangino, God bless him, and you just are afraid he's going to explode. You know, you're just afraid if he accidentally bumped into something sharp, that that would really be it, like Mr. Creosote, you know, at the end of, I think it's the uh, the Meaning of Life, the Monty Python film, where he just has one thin wet waffer, and he literally explodes. So that's what I tuned in to see. But what I did see was one of the greatest performances by a coach. Um, this is the kind of thing I admire, and I'm, I'm a Missouri guy, but I am now uh, rooting for Kansas. Uh, in every game except for Missouri, maybe, because uh, what he says to this kid at the end of this boneheaded entry into the end zone is beautiful, and it's what football is all about. Football is one of the, the ultimate team sports. This is really why I got rid of my television um, years ago. It was the stupid crap that was on television, which I wouldn't watch, but when I was watching football games, I'd have to see the commercials for the stupid crap. So I, but I kept watching TV for years because of, uh, you know, football was on. But after a while, these wide receivers and these shenanigans in the end zone, um, it, it started with Randy Moss, like, deciding when he wants to play and when he doesn't want to play. Joe Horn pulling a cell phone out in the end zone at an NFL game and talking like, you know, look at me, look at me, and not to mention, I don't even want to mention his name, the Sharpie moron. Um... Anyhow, when kids in college started acting like that, so I quit watching pro football, but then I kept watching college football, but then those kids, you know, started acting stupid, and finally I just couldn't take it anymore when what happens in the end zone after the play is more important than uh, the play that gets you the end zone. Anyhow, back to the point, football is the ultimate team sport. You know, how does this kid get in the end zone? Well, it's not because he stands up there by himself and hits a home run, you know, it took everybody on the team to do it, but he disgraces them by some self-aggrandizing demonstration in the end zone. Whew, boy, I'm getting hot. I meant to just comment briefly on Mark Mangino. But in any event, uh, it, this reminds me of, I think it was, uh, I can't remember the coach's name. He was a, uh, a coach under Bear Bryant, um, coached at Alabama, and one of his kids pulled some kind of shenanigan in the end zone. And uh, they showed him pulling his helmet into his face and barking something at him. And I heard at some point that he said, it's the end zone. Act like you've been there before, which I thought was really cool. But uh, anyhow, um, just wanted to compliment Mark Mangino, congratulate Kansas on their great season. They've got another game to go. And after seeing him, you know, just chew this kid out for boneheaded, self-centered BS, I really hope Kansas wins the game. And... Uh, that's it. <laughs>